It's the middle of June, it's a very sunny day and it's 30 degrees and it looks like summer has finally been switched on here in Mallorca. So in this video I'm going to let you know what weather you can expect as we enter summer here in Mallorca. Now, you may well have watched my previous vi videos about the weather over here and reports have been made that it's going to be indeed hotter and wetter for this summer in 2023. But is that going to be the case? Well, just last week I was over here in Alcudia Beach and we did see some very unseasonal storms bubble up in the distance. Now, any storms that we have may not be forecast, just like they weren't particularly forecast during the month of June. They may bubble up very, very quickly and they may hit without much warning as well. You can see this on my last trip, which I made up here to Alcudia Beach. Now, at time of filming, you can see I'm over here in Alcudia and you can just see how absolutely gorgeous it is over here. And that's if you're looking in the direction of Porto Poyen and Arcudia port and as I look to my left here and what should have been forecast as a day of endless sunshine you can see right in the distance over by Camp Picafort a storm coming in now any storms that we have may not be forecast just like they weren't particularly forecast during the month of June they may bubble up very very quickly and they may hit without much warning as well now, if you hear thunder and you see lightning and you are on the beach, please leave the beach. Leave your sun umbrellas as well in the sand and come back and get them later. So as we head on into June, we are seeing clouds bubbling up and also some strong winds. So don't be surprised if we do get some mixed weather this summer. So what temperatures can we expect over here in Mallorca for this summer? Well, if it's already 30 degrees in the middle of June, it is going to get hotter. By, by mid-July, we could be looking at daytime temperatures and daytime highs of around the mid-30s. It could even creep into the low 40s, and that has happened as well, but it hasn't. But we haven't had those high temperatures for many years. Evening temperatures over here in Mallorca, while well, you're going to expect highs of around 26 to 28 degrees, it's going to be a little bit cooler than the daytime but it's going to be very very warm if you're going out to eat so make sure if you're going out and with those mosquitoes in mind as well that maybe you wear a longer sleeve top and some longer trousers or a longer skirt and also an insect spray as well because there's some areas of the island that are obviously going to be a little bit worse for mosquitoes than others. Now also bearing these very hot temperatures in mind as well, if you are coming over to the island from maybe Northern Europe, maybe you're driving down here and maybe you're bringing your pets, avoid walking them during lunchtime hours as well because the, the tarmac and the concrete gets very, very hot. Don't even think of taking your dog out at lunchtime here. It'll definitely burn their paws. It's not great. So just bear that in mind if you are bringing a pet over this summer. Also with these very high temperatures, make sure that you have got enough sun cream to lay out in the sun. Now, this may sound obvious, but I've seen so many red bodies walking around the island and people are getting very, very sunburnt over here. So if you are looking to protect your skin, get nothing less than a factor 50, especially for your kids. Make sure you get yourself a hat if you're going out in the sunshine. If your kids are on the beach, maybe pop them into a t-shirt as well. It doesn't have to be a swimming t-shirt or anything too high tech, just something to cover up their skin skin to avoid getting sunstroke or indeed sunburn too. Okay everyone so finally I'm going to recommend that if you're coming to the beach for the day on the island make sure that you bring lots of drinking water with you please bring plenty of drinking water because with these high temperatures you can get dehydrated very quickly particularly if you're also drinking alcohol too. Also, try and take a break from the sun as well. If you're gonna be on the beach all day, I know you want to get maximum beach time, but try and maybe just take a break from the midday sun. Go to one of the many fabulous restaurants that we have all over the island. Go and get yourself some lunch, get some shade too, and refuel for the rest of a very beautiful day on the beach. Okay, everyone, I hope this video is useful. If you're coming over here this summer, you're gonna have an absolutely fantastic holiday. As you can see by so many people over here already having an amazing time down here on Alcudia Beach. Don't forget if you want more information for your holiday you can find me in the Facebook group and on my Instagram also called at Mallorca Under the Sun. Check out the website on MallorcaUnderTheSun.com. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Goodbye for now.